So race day today, uh, heading down to do the Southern Relays in the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park. It's 12 stage relays uh, with my club Orion Harriers. Six legs are uh, five miles and six or five K, although the loop is 2.4 K, so it's like 4.8 K and 7.2 K. So I'm on a 7.2 K loop, never raced that distance before. So PB guaranteed today, which is very pleasing. A few things to test out uh, as always. So uh, shoes I'm going to use today are the Hoka Rocket X2. Now in the review I had a few concerns with them. One was heel rub, one was maybe a little bit of bottoming out over very long distances. Those shouldn't be a concern today. My heels are bandaged up and I've heel locked them and that seems to be uh, sorting the problem with that shoe. Hasn't sorted it with some others recently. Um, and yeah, it's only 7.2k so expecting the phone to be nice and bouncy by the end. And yeah, I'm just interested to see how they go over that distance. Like I did a really good track session in them this week, enjoyed them for that. The kind of shorter, sharper stuff seems to be what I prefer them for and I'm looking forward to putting them to the test with a full race today uh, over three loops uh, doing 7.2k also going to be testing uh, the new watch from the Cathlon, which is, which is the Kiprun GPS 900 powered by Coros it's essentially the platform of the old Coros Apex watch the original one that has uh, been kind of rejigged a bit it's got a slightly different look slightly sleeker look actually and it's got a lot of features on it and it's 200 pounds very cheap watch uh, given what you're getting here which is quite a nice design quality with like metal bezel and then all the kind of key features you get on Coros watches, including navigation with breadcrumb trails and back to start and you know, training analysis, so that kind of thing. So I've had it for a couple of days, been using it out in Paris at the launch and um, GPS has been pretty good for me, but it's gonna be a really challenging test today because it's a looped course with a few dead turns. I'll be putting it against the Forerunner 265, which has dual band GPS. This doesn't have dual band GPS. It's set to use three satellite systems at once though, so it's pretty good. So it should be a really good uh, indication of how the GPS handles that kind of thing, which is you know, quite a challenging thing for GPS to do, lots of dead turns, running at speed over three laps. On that, just little bits to test out really. I have some new Nike Aeroswift half tights on which I've never used before. The ones that have got like that almost corduroy pattern on the front. I've never used the Aeroswift tights, so it'll be interesting to see how they feel over the race today. But in general, it's just gonna be a lot of fun because it's three loops, loads of support around the course, obviously from your club and other clubs. It's just could be a really great event. And I'm excited to go and uh, run very hard for exactly 7.2 kilometers. So that was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, it's just a great event, really nice atmosphere. There's loads of runs on the course. I got overtaken by the leading lads and it was pretty ridiculous how quick they were going. Um, but I ran a nice strong leg there, I think. I did uh, just under 24 minutes for 7.2K, so average just under 320 a k actually held a very similar split throughout which i was surprised and pleased with i thought i'd go off a bit quick but no it felt quite good composed hockle was great like really great for this level of race and there's some really sharp turns there lots of hairpins it feels really quite stable when you're attacking those you can round those nicely um and there's loads of pace there and it didn't lose any of its bounce throughout the race which is a concern i've had with it before like it felt very springy very propulsive but not overly squishy at all like that was some concern I've had of it before is when I've done longer runs and it felt a little bit squishy and then bottomed out a bit and it just felt really lively today the whole way through felt nice and firm when I want to accelerate and um, get the bounce from the plate and the foam there so really impressed with it today sure I think I'll keep using it I really like the look of it and I, I do like how it feels I just worry maybe how it'll feel for me at the end of longer hard runs which it, you know was the problem in the initial review I did find it bottom out for me and felt a bit mushy at times as well at the heel when I was uh, trying to run quick but today it was fantastic so yeah thumbs up for Hoka today really enjoyed using it um Still not convinced uh, I'd be getting it over the Vaporfly or anything like that, especially the cheaper older Vaporflies now, but uh, I really enjoyed today. I thought it was a very good racing shoe for this kind of distance, uh, on this kind of course in particular, of all those twists and turns. Nike shorts were fine, but <laughs> they're short. Quite expensive, they're comfortable. I enjoyed wearing them, but you can get great shorts for a lot less. But they were, they were good today, no concern to them at all. Uh, and then the watch was good. So actually in the race, all the beeps for you know the laps were roughly in line. So I've just checked out the GPS tracks of both. The 400 265 produced a very nice GPS track. You know, three laps, all more or less lines over each other's lines, navigated some of the really twisty bits up the hill at the bottom of the course and um, under bridges and stuff like that really well. Spotted all the dead turns. Now throughout the race, the uh, K, uh, K, or the GPS 900, the Decathlon watch, uh, the old Corsair was um, great, like beeping pretty much in line with the uh, Garmin at every lap, had a very similar distance, was like point, you know, 40 meters out or so at the end. But you can see on the GPS trace, it's not quite as good. So there was one slightly slower lap by a few seconds, we're just talking here, but at the bottom of the park where it really struggled with, there's a, there was like a little uphill where you kind of weaved back and forth under some trees and it didn't cope with that very well. And, um, and yeah, some of the turns and, and the three lines don't exactly overlay. It's, it's kind of exactly what you'd expect from good, but 
previous gen GPS in a way, not dual band GPS. So it's good GPS, the distance was fine, uh, you, you could use the watch to pace with, but if you're really into GPS and like looking at traces and want the best possible GPS, you'll get it with dual band watches. And this is a clear comparison between the 265 and the, and the, um, and the Decathlon watch here. But at the same time, you could have used, I could have happily used the, the watch to pace the race today. It's just gonna be one that's gonna get thrown a bit more easily. So when you do hit you know, narrow bits of courses, under tree cover, twisty bits, back and forth, out and backs, it will struggle with them more than the new generation of watches, the dual band, like the Garmin, which coped with them fantastically well. Really nice GPS trace through the trees, up a little windy bit. It's very impressive what they can do with GPS these days, and you can get top flight GPS, but you can't get that GPS for the price of this Decathlon watch. And, you know, it's very good. It's still very good. It's fine. Like, I could have paced with it today. So, yeah, it's a really case of how much this stuff uh, would irk you. Like, I, I love GPS. So I'll be getting the top band one. I'll be paying the extra. But in terms of actual performance and pacing, it was fine. Heart rate wasn't great. Like, I had the chest strap connected to the Garmin. And I think uh, the uh, the average measured on the uh, Decathlon watch and the Kipron watch was um, higher than my actual max today. Like, it had me very high on average. Like, it, yeah, I think it was like 174 and actually I averaged more like 160, which is about where I run. So I have quite a low max heart rate. So even when I'm you know, all out, my heart rate is still quite low. And it was the Kipron struggled with that today. So it's quite exactly the kind of watch you pair a chest strap to. You can pair a chest strap to it. I will probably do that for the rest of the review because I've had a few runs now. It doesn't really like its optical heart rate. And you know, when you really need good heart rate, especially if you're using the training analysis available here, you need a good heart rate feeding into that to get the best results. So that's what I'll be using going forward. But overall, it was fine. Like, I was quite impressed by the pacing, but like, the fact it beat in line with the Garmin the whole way was great. Like, on longer races and harder courses, you will see a difference. It's not quite as accurate as dual band GPS, especially from Garmin watches, but it wasn't bad. So all in all, successful outing for my kit today. Like, um, yeah, the Hoka, I mean, warming to it. I've done, done that track session this week, which went really well in it. Done this race today. I think it's a shoe for me that will work best on this kind of shorter stuff, definitely. But maybe if you're off the hill, uh, like if you're landing on midfoot, forefoot, you might enjoy it more for those longer things. But I want to do another long run in it and see if it bottoms out for me again. But um, yeah, I've had still have that concern. But for this 5K, 10K, probably even half marathon, it'll be a pretty fantastic racing shoe for sure. It's just whether you're going to go and pick it up if you've probably already got something like a Vaporfly, I wouldn't be. Um, just because it's another a big expense. Anyway, and all right, go head back and watch just the relays of Ryan's. All right, Ryan is ticking over quite nicely. I think we're top 50 probably, uh, but there's some outrageous run. I think Stephen Scullion just blew past me in front of some of the clubs. So um, yeah, it's a fantastic event, the relays. If your club does it, go in any level of team. It's uh, so much fun to just turn up and run on a loop course with so many amazing runners like this. Great support. Yeah, really good fun.